Do you still remember when you were a kid, when you used to feel happy at a simple thing, and your memory couldn't store any bad or frustrating moments for a long period of time? The games you used to play, although they were not full of thrill like the contemporary games, they would charge your tank of happiness to the brim. The sandwiches you would share with your mates would be enough to everybody, including you. The cartoons you would watch used to let you feel on top of the world, and the scholastic journeys you would go on would seem that they would never end. When you used to feel that you were the honor of the universe the moment your mom would decide to visit your grandparents, when your heart would explode with all kinds of joy as soon as your father would bring you a simple gift, you were an epitome. Of happiness. You wonder, why don't you have such feelings anymore? Why do you feel that happiness has numbed all though you have all secrets and keys to it? What happened to that great innocence? Simply, the answer is not because of life changes, but because of the way We look at the events of life. Believe me, nothing and no one either can hurt us but we ourselves do so. You know, even honey becomes bitter if you keep having it for a long period of time. To feel better, you should know that it's our positive attitude that shades that halo of happiness and relaxation around our souls. All of that can easily be maintained when we don't take life that seriously. The more we complicate things, and the more we keep hanging on to negative experiences, the more upset and the more depressed we feel, the whole secret lies in one simple thing, it's simplicity. Yeah, simplicity is such a great treasure that we don't appreciate as we used to. Why didn't we decide to keep that childish side of our characters alive? Why didn't we live those crazy moments over and over again even if we are grand? This is the best remedy to our exhausted hearts. You should know that your heart is the engine to your real happiness, and you can feed it well by recalling those angelic moments and try your best to relive them with your beloveds. Ramage it through the attic of your memories and revive those flashbacks with all long-term memory you have. Remember how you used to laugh, play, joke, dance, eat, behave, think, and live each moment as it is with simplicity and a great euphoria. You don't have to show that innocent side in public if you are afraid of any embarrassment, jeering or destructive criticism, but you can at least live this juicy experience in private and share such moments with people who can't misunderstand you at all. Keep your grin from ear to ear, even if all walks of your life beat with gloom and sadness. Try to believe from deep within that tomorrow is a sweeter, more flourished, and more refreshing. It's your choice to put an end to those strikes of sadness. It's your duty to feel that your happiness will bloom amazingly in your work, family, and more importantly in your heart. It begs you to nurture it with enough doses of happiness, since it's your birthright to live happily. Give it a try, dear. Please. Give it a try and refresh those memories or even create new ones, particularly before you go to bed, to let your subconsciousness dive in those pure seas of innocence, joy, beauty, relaxation, inner peace, and ecstasy.
Keep that movie of joy playing, filter it from heart scenes, zoom in the heart touching clips and scroll down the stunning slides one by one. Climb the trees again and pick the ripened fruits with your hands, spend some more time with your older friends who would let your heart dance with all kinds of happiness. Attend some periods in different classes and see the indescribable memories you can visit and enjoy your recess time when your biggest dreams were to have your a sandwich, score some goals in different soccer matches, and run after your mischievous mates. Dear, you must be circumspect. As most of diseases are caused by stress and bitter sadness, when you are aware of the terrible side effects of sadness, you will never ever take your problems that seriously anymore. Don't bury your happiness alive that early since it's eternal and its vitality is ageless. Don't have a cow and keep your chin up because your destiny won't be that ghostly as you think, and the upcoming days are holding a lot of awesome surprises that will keep you full of joys of the spring. Dear, when you go to bed, just try to take several deep breaths and simulate everything made you happy years ago, when you would know well how to feel in a cloud nine with ease. Try to lean your heavy head against your pillow and try to keep your mind hollow to stuff it then with all vitamins of release and real ecstasy. Just focus on those brightest moments of your past to let your happiness marvelously last. Remember that your childish side must stay alive so that you can greatly survive in such a challenging life. Just take it easy and get alive.